To write the Lewis structure for H2PO4 minus, let's count up the valence electrons. Hydrogen, that's in group one, it has one valence electron, and we have the two hydrogen atoms. Phosphorus group 15, sometimes called 5A, we have five valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, it has six valence electrons, we have four oxygens, plus this minus sign here means we have one additional valence electron. For a total of 32, valence electrons for the H2PO4 minus Lewis structure. So phosphorus, that's the least electronegative. Hydrogens always go on the outside. So we'll put our phosphorus in the middle of the Lewis structure, and then we'll put four oxygens around it. Because the hydrogens are written in the front of the formula here, that usually means they're going to be attached to the oxygen. So let's put a hydrogen here and another one over here. So we have the basic structure here for H2PO4 minus Let's go ahead and put electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. So now both of the hydrogens, they have two valence electrons and that's all they need. Next, let's put valence electrons around the oxygens. So we've completed the octets on all of the oxygens and the central phosphorus, and we've used 32 valence electrons. So this looks like a really good Lewis structure. We should check the formal charges though, however, and make sure that this is the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for H2PO4 minus. When we do that, we see the phosphorus in the center, that has a formal charge of plus one, and then each oxygen, the ones without the hydrogens, they have a formal charge of minus one. We'd like the formal charges to be as close to zero as possible, or in this case, as close to minus one, because that's the charge here on this ion. So to do that, we can move electrons around as long as we keep using 32. So if we took this pair of electrons right here and moved it to the center to form a double bond with phosphorus, that would mean that the formal charge on this oxygen would be zero, on the phosphorus would be zero, and the formal charge on this oxygen right here, that would be minus one. And that's okay, because we need to have a minus one to match this up here. So this is actually a better Lewis structure for H2PO4 minus than our original one with all single bonds. So formal charges are a useful way to determine if you do have the best Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for H2PO4 minus, and thanks for watching.